Hi, my name is Kaylee. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, we talk a lot about wellness and today we're talking about femininity and womanhood. I'm going to share with you four qualities of healthy femininity that I've identified in women around me or that I have realized I want to develop in myself. I had two women in my life that were very distant relatives who had these healthy feminine traits so I'm drawing on inspiration from them as I've been in a season of reflecting on what is femininity? What does it mean to me? How can I be feminine? Do I want to be feminine? <laughs> and realizing I was not a feminine teenager, I was not a feminine child, and it has taken a long time for me to recognize that beauty and prettiness uh, it are not the same things as true femininity. So... Let's get into this. <laughs> One of the qualities that I hear so much being talked about for femininity is putting others' needs above your own. However, I think that there's a deeper truth here that we could dive into, and that is to holistically understand the needs of your household. This is not the same thing as putting others' needs above your own, and it's not prioritizing your needs always above those in your household either. It is having a deeper understanding of the members of your household, of your family, of those who are consistently in your presence, and understanding which needs need to be prioritized at the right time. Healthy women are a source of nurture, and understanding that that is a huge impact you have on your household can help you understand how to prioritize the right need at the right time, and also understand that you cannot pour from an empty cup. When our needs are never getting met and everybody else's needs are prioritized, sometimes we can come into a place of bitterness, resentment, anger, and we can strip our nurture away from those around us. But a woman is where nurture comes from first. Because even as your experience in the womb, it is a woman who is literally nurturing you. So we have such a capacity for nurture and to not prioritize our own needs to the point where we lose our ability to give our nurture is a really sad place to be. And also to be able to strip our nurture away from people we love because we haven't had our needs met is a sad place to be. It's just overall a sad situation when we don't know how to holistically recognize the needs of our household and be able to choose when to prioritize which need at what time with which person. When a woman has this understanding, this holistic understanding of the needs of her household, this is a sign of very healthy femininity. She's walking in that grace, in that nurture, and it's also strength. The second quality of healthy femininity that I have recognized is understanding that femininity is in essence not an aesthetic. I have the definition of essence here and I'm, I need to read it straight from my paper, okay? An essence is an intrinsic nature or indispensable quality of something which determines its character. An essence doesn't change based on environment. It's intrinsic. It is indispensable. It helps shape the character of someone. It is an intrinsic thing to be feminine, not an aesthetic exterior display. And because it's intrinsic, it doesn't change. It is consistent in the environment that it is in. A personal example that I have of this is that the two women in my life who modeled for me femininity were always consistently kind. This is something that I can just remember so clearly about them that it didn't matter if I made a mess as a child, if I broke something, if I had a little bit of talk back or something as a teenager. These two women never separated themselves from that ability to be kind. When a woman cannot retain her femininity because of an environment, that femininity isn't as deep as she would desire for it to be. I'm not saying it's fake, I'm not saying it's not there, but if your femininity requires the way that you're dressed, the way that your environment looks, the, the stress-freeness of a day, then it's not femininity, it is a reaction to a, an environment. It's not a deeply rooted essence. I have had to learn that it does not matter what I'm wearing, it matters who I am inside, the heart posture inside, what's going on inside, because my femininity is not taken away from me just because I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt. And yes, wearing dresses and 
prettier things can help us feel more feminine. However, your femininity is not defined by what you are wearing. It is the way in which you walk. It's an essence, not an aesthetic. It's not an accessory. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not something you put on on the outside. It is the consistency of your feminine nurture and nature that flows from environment to environment to environment no matter what. Quality number three of healthy femininity is productivity. <laughs> Balancing wellness and productivity has been something I've been talking about on this channel since I started. I think that was my very first YouTube video. However, for anyone who is new here or anyone who hasn't seen those videos, doesn't remember, just a good reminder for all of us, productivity is not based solely on the quantity of output. It is also the quality of time put in. A feminine woman knows that life is a blessing. So she's going to operate through life with that heart posture, with that understanding that this is a blessing and she will find beauty, she will find moments of connection, she will find quality in the time, she will create that quality. When I was making this note about productivity, I thought about the slow living trend and I'm sure most of you know what that is and in case you don't, there's a trend all over social media right now of slow living and slow living is slowing down and having a less busy life. I think there's a little bit of a confusion here when we see this type of content. Always remember, when you are watching content, the person producing that content is trying to create some type of a feeling and they spend a lot of time putting the content together. If you watch a 15 second TikTok of slow living, that person put a lot of work into that 15 seconds of aesthetic and feeling. The content never represents the reality authentically because it's produced. It's not authentic. I think the slow living trend is a response to the lack of balance between quantity and quality productivity. That quantity is about producing, 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 and quality is about the way you spend your time. I think we understand there's a problem with this, so we're finding the slow living aesthetic and, and lifestyle really appealing. This is a great transition because my fourth point, my fourth quality of healthy femininity is being in the present moment. And slow living is trying to emulate, trying to embody this idea of being in the present moment. However, it comes back to exactly the same point with the essence versus aesthetic. Your environment shouldn't declare whether or not you can be present within it. Being able to be in the present moment needs to be something we know how to do even if the environment is unpleasant. Having a pleasant, slow-paced environment Yes, it helps us be in the present moment, but what about when the environment changes? Practicing being in the present moment goes beyond environment. It's about being able to be present within yourself. So many of us are escaping being present within ourselves, within our bodies, because we don't want to experience the turmoil that's going on in there. But this is where womanhood and wellness comes together. If we don't have a, an ability to practice being in the present moment, then we get caught up in the pool of reactionary instead of responsive. We become reactionary people instead of responsive people. If we don't have that ability to pull back and become the observer of our environment versus someone who is tossed to and fro in the environment, it is so much harder to be who we want to be if we don't practice being in the present moment. So a woman who's very feminine, who has very healthy femininity, knows how to be in the present moment within herself in any environment. So being in the present moment, not just creating the aesthetic of a beautiful moment is is, is located in true femininity, true healthy femininity. That's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to be making more videos about femininity and womanhood and wellness together because I think it just would really serve us and I'm excited about it. So go ahead and drop a comment below if you liked the video and share it with a friend, please. My name is Kaylee and I will see you next time. And when they were feminine, it was not healthy feminism. Feminism, like feminist? No. I want to share with you four qualities of healthy feminism. Nope. <laughs>